I originally bid, bid the project, the spec said to nail it. I, as we've been talking about today, and it's hard, it's difficult when you have so many pavement patches on this project. I actually included two different lengths of nails, not knowing for sure whether or not the short nails or the long nails were gonna be the adequate thing to, to, to attach it. So as we got through the process and Propex suggested the gluing operation is a much better, much more efficient way to do it, it became easy for me to say that if it's approved by the manufacturer that we would of course consider it and it, it's kind of proven itself to be much more efficient and much quicker and we don't have that flapping issue with the wind it just seems like it's going down really nice and we've got trucks on it we've uh, we've kind of put it through the run of its paces and it seems like it's holding up well for this first for the first half of this project so Uh, it, actually, the installation is pretty simple. The glue is great. Uh, it holds good, and uh, we've had some pretty good winds here already, and it holds up real good. It's you get about a six-inch wide uh, spray uh, width on it, and get the center when you overlap it. If you get that glued down, it, it seems like it holds pretty good. One aspect of engineering is, of course, the innovation. This, this is an innovative process. The other aspect is how long is it going to last and things like that. So I'm a believer. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to sell the product based on the specifications. And then another five, 10 years, if this project's holding up very well, the long-term benefit will be immense. I mean, that's, that's the thing. If, if, if NUR and everybody comes back out here 10 years from now, we've still got a beautiful roadway. The, pro the product sells itself, but I anticipate this, this product is going to work very well for the application we're using it here for.